Hi guys, I'm Priyanka. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So today I'm not going to show you any demo or any implementation. Today's video is little different and full of concepts. But yes, it is necessary as in the next video, I'm going to explain you how we can parse JSON in UiPath. And before that, I want you to know some basic concepts related to JSON and example of a JSON file. So let's get started with JSON. JSON is a JavaScript object notation. It's a text form in which you can transfer the data between client and server. So JSON is a language independent, easy to read, much simpler and a lightweight to send back and forth due to its small file size. So we have understood what JSON is and let's see some data type of a JSON. So JSON supports string numbers. It can be a decimal whole negative. Also, it supports Boolean, which represent true or false. Null, which stands nothing. Array, which is a combination of type that we have talked about. Object, it is the most used type of JSON and it basically key value pair. So that we have seen data type of JSON. So let's dive into the example of JSON file. JSON file can be created by object and array. So curly braces represent JSON object. JSON object contain a data in form of key value pair and the keys are string. And the values are of JSON type that we have seen. So it could be a string, it could be a number, it could be a Boolean object and array as well. So key and value are separated by colon and each entry or key value pair is separated by comma. So JSON object can have another object also and we call it as a nested JSON object. Also we have an array object that is a JSON object and it contains array. So it will look like this. A square bracket represents JSON array. A JSON array is a list of value can store multiple values. It can store string, it can store number, boolean or object. In a JSON array, values must be separated by comma. Here are some example of JSON array of a string, of a number, of an object. We can also store array inside JSON array and we call it as a array of array or a multidimensional array. So which will look like this. So that's all for today from the concept point of view in the next video I'm going to show you how to deserialize JSON object as well as JSON array in UiPath. So thanks for watching my video stay tuned for next video. Thank you.